Hello friend, we need the data in Cucumber framework for the feature file. So how you can get that data just in few clicks automatically without putting any extra effort. For example, data, this kind of data, let's say uh, you need the first name, last name, email, password combination. And then you have to get this kind of data separated by pipe. Generally, we used to waste a lot of time to get this kind of data separated by pipe and then like uh, header wise and then like in next line it is like uh, here I have just written for five lines like five uh, test cases it could be like let's say you want to run the same test case for different kind of data thousands of data uh, rows or hundreds uh, of users data you need so how you can get this data separated by pipe absolutely in the same format which is required for the cucumber framework here I will show you how you can generate this kind of data using the auto test data just in three simple click let's see so here on selectorsub.com you will find this auto test data or you can directly open this auto test data.com you can also bookmark this website whenever you need the data you want to generate the data you can just open and get this so here you see that uh, by default it will show you some of the fields like name phones email currency number range this data you can generate like suppose you need this data separated by pipe here you have this option choose data format this you have to choose click on generate and it will generate the number of rows like 10 by default if you need more you can just make it like let's say 20 100 whatever number of rows you need that you make it and click on generate it will generate so here you can see that the similar kind of data it has generated like separated by pipe we have selected choose the data type separated by pipe and it is generating the data you can simply copy and paste it in your code or wherever in the feature file you required. So like I, if we need this, you can just simply paste it, okay? But in our case, let's say for an example, we need this data, first name, last name, email, password combination, or it could be anything else as well. So how can we get that? Because this is little different. It is not as same as our format. <laughs> so here, let me show you. So what we need for an example we need first name last name email and password okay so this is name here and it is generating by default full name so if you select this here you see that first name is here so you can select this first name okay and then we need the last name you can simply copy this duplicate this row and here you can select the last name and now here you see that property name it is first underscore name and last underscore name while we need the first name camel case separated by space so here you can change this same as what you need first name this you can make it as last name okay so now we have first name last name then we need email so first name last name and the phone number we don't need so we can delete this we need email e is capital so let's make it email and then we need password so here currency number is these two we can delete because we don't don't need them you can select the data type here so password is like generally alphanumeric so you can select the field alphanumeric and click on add and here you can change this property name as password how long password you need let's say we need the eight character password okay and so we have now first name last name email password these are the header name basically so this you can customize this is just a data type and here you can customize what you need okay and simply let's say we need five rows so here you can make it five and click on generate you see that data is generated you can simply copy this click on this or you can download as well and here let me paste this code now what we have copied so you see that pretty much similar thing we got from auto test data just in few clicks now here you see that this email like uh, let's say it is generating with at the rate yahoo gmail different and here it has uh, it is having different but what if like you need with the, your company domain name so that also you can do that like here you can pass the uh, domain name you can see that like for random you can just leave blank or if you need let's say i need with selectorsub.com so i can just say selectorsub.com and now now we can click on generate it will generate all the email with the domain name with my company domain name basically so if you need your company domain name email IDs with your company domain name in that case you can generate this way so this is how you can generate the data for your uh, feature file for the cucumber framework and very easily you can get this done
if you need more fields if you want any more kind of customization let's say you need the uh, postal code or country for that so in that case you can add this here and now if you will generate it will also be having the country column here and uh, then like more formats are there of course you can generate whatever format you required here I'm just showing for the cucumber framework so separated by pipe we need generally and then if you need any more kind of data like let's say you need the official email first email then you can again add the email field if you need uh, any other like currency date number range all those things you can add here and generate so this is very very helpful to get the data just in few clicks for your framework uh, for your feature file and very simple you can generate any kind of data you can add any number of rows you can delete customize all those things you can do it here i hope you find this tutorial helpful if you want to learn more about this tool it's very easy simple straightforward everything is uh, like from the ui itself it is self explanatory no need to much uh, worry much about it and here also if you ever find like uh, to uh, explore more and more things you can always see the tutorial here there are button like if you want to generate uh, refresh the data you want to generate separate data just click on this refresh button this data will be regenerated here it is showing separated by pipe if you uh, let's say click on json then it will show json here so that's the thing this is how you can generate in any format i hope you find this tutorial helpful and please like and share and let others know about this amazing tool autotestdata.com this is absolutely free offered by selectors hub and you can generate the data thank you thank you so much please like this video and subscribe to the channel also check out these awesome informative videos and keep watching more videos on selectors hub channel thank you